in Guatemala and it's one of my favorite destinations. I love being here. We've been coming here for several years now and it was actually our first place that we came to after our initial boot drop in Romania. And I was uh, impacted from the very start how humble these people were, how meek the children were, and also my, my real heroes that are here serving these kids. So this one in particular was so much fun because I had the privilege of bringing my wife and my daughters with me. And, getting to share that experience with them. And what I like about a boot drop is being able to look at a child's face and remind them that God loves them and cares for them. Handing a pair of brain boots to them is just a way to show God's love in a tangible way. So what's important about uh, rain boots is that usually when rainy season starts in Guatemala, it's usually half of the year, usually from May to October. So usually when it starts to rain, children, they, they don't want to get their shoes wet. So of course they stop going to school. So it's very important, you know, like now that uh, our children have rain boots, we've been having like a lot more attendance in our learning center because children just don't have the excuse that they don't have a pair of shoes to walk to school. When Samuel gave us the opportunity to do this, I knew that it would be exciting, I knew that it would be a big adventure, but I had no idea the kind of blessings that we were going to get. I think we were blessed more than the kids were. I wanted to come for a, do a boot drop because I really care about the poor. It's, I think it's God's willing for us to help the poor and I have a passion just to help the, the poor. So that's my reason, my only reason it's God and helping others. As a friend of Samuel's and as a retailer of Roma Boots, we jumped at the opportunity to bring these rain boots to these kids in Guatemala. We talk about the boots every day, we sell the boots, we share Samuel's story, but to be here and see this firsthand is just priceless. They were so happy to see us, but then to get a great new pair of shiny rain boots was just added joy. It was, it was pretty amazing to see this. I came here because God told me that here is where He wanted to use us, and so I work every day with these kids, and uh, they're like my own children because I know everything about them, and I talk to them all the time, and to have their own pair of, of nice shoes was really awesome. Like we were in line standing and they were so excited to go in and pick their boots out. I've been uh, working uh, with different teams since I'm uh, age 14 and when I was uh, there sharing with the kids I realized of the different needs that the different needs that they have. The grounds of poverty that are based on so many different factors. So I started uh, working in community development and uh, what I do now it's uh, equipping uh, the kids uh, with a good base so they can uh, go further in life. And it was also amazing to be able to bring my family and my children so they can experience and see the need that is around the world and so they can be more aware that we can make a change and we can make a difference and we're here to, to serve others and to help others. The things that I remember most about the trip were seeing the kids in their vibrant boots as we were walking here through the jungle in Guatemala. The happiness and the smiles on their faces most of them hadn't received a pair of boots ever. This was their first time to wear them. So to see them splash in the water. And with Samuel's vision, he's a good example that one person can literally change the world. It's kind of a flea uh, that it's usually found in areas where there's a lot of grass. And uh, what happens is that because they're working barefoot, this flea goes inside their toenail. It's their way up <laughs> into the skin and muscle. So, um, you know, like there, there's people that have died out of this flea that goes in, uh, into their toenails. So, you know, just having the pair of uh, rain boots, it just allows them to um, stay safe and keep, keep their feet safe. I heard about Roma boots on the internet, on YouTube, a similar story about how he began his company and the reason he began is to help others. So this is how I got involved with Roma boots. After we fitted the boots to these children, we walked them down to the river and Samuel sat them down and, and he shared his inspiration and his story and encouraged these kids that anything is possible. They can do anything in this world and one day if they work hard, stay in school, they in turn will be able to purchase a pair of boots and that will offer another child uh, a great new pair of rain boots just like they were offered today and I think that, that experience will stay with these kids forever. So to be a part of this with Roma Boots here in Guatemala and Samuel and his family and the Roma Boots team has been priceless. It just makes you feel so awesome to know that you're helping these kids in such a big way because rainy season here is like 
almost six months, like it's a long time. So they'll use these boots for a long time and they they get to have their own. So it's not like one day their shoes are filled with rain, but they can actually go outside and come to learning centers and they're just really proud to have something that's their own. For them having rain boots, it's, it's so nice because it's like not giving them an excuse to miss school or to not come to the learning center so they can uh, continue on the, during the work to be able to get out of the poverty cycle. And the reason that we're here today is because God put on our hearts to bless them. So it's not about giving a pair of boots and leaving. It's about giving a pair of boots, planting a seed, and watching it grow. Hopefully one day these guys will have the opportunity to give a pair of boots to somebody else. We love bringing teams here. We'd love to invite you to come with us and we look forward to seeing you on our next drop.